Praise the Lord. Praise the Praise Lord. The Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Let us sign ourselves in. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Words fail me when I try to say how happy, how joyful, how excited I am about the opportunity the Lord has given me, given us. Nothing like coming together as a family to give him praise, to give him thanksgiving, to give him honor. Father God, this evening I surrender myself and everyone present here online. Lord, accept our praise, our worship, accept our thanksgiving and honor. We ask you, Father, through Jesus, your Son, bless us, favor us, and keep us all united through your love. And let us bring others to you to share your amazing goodness. My dear brothers and sisters, so let us lift our hands and sing with all our might, joyfully, and praise him like a praise party this evening. Let us, pres let us celebrate the presence of the Lord as one family. The word of the Lord says, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. As in the book of Lamentation, his mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Lord, we thank you and we praise you that in the past months, the only thing that has been constant, the only thing that has remained is you, is your presence, is your faithfulness and your steadfast love. Everything around us is not normal. Everything around us has changed. Everything around us is bad news. But Lord, you only have the good news. Lord, we are sinners and so unworthy. Still for us, you choose to die and fill us with your Holy Spirit. Now we can stand and testify that your love is everlasting, your faithfulness never ceasing, your kindness and your mercy in each of us, in every one of us in our lives will never end. It is the same as the first day you found us, Lord, and it will be the same as the last day as we live on this earth. Because you, Lord, you are constant. Because you, Lord, you are unfailing. Because you, Lord, you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Yes, my brothers and sisters, we lift our hearts up to the Lord. With our voices of song and praise, we worship him and we give him honor. The honor that is due to him. Yes, Lord, we give you honor. You are a good father. You are a good God. God, you are good not only in the morning. God, you are good not only in the evening. God, you are good not only in the night. You are good all the time. Your word is true. So my dear family, let us sing, let us praise and acknowledge our God with this hymn. God is good all the time. God is good all the time. He put us on.
or as we come into repentance in those days john the baptist came preaching in the wilderness of judea and saying repent for the kingdom of heaven is near this is he who has, spo has spoken through the prophet isaiah a voice of one calling in the wilderness prepare the way for the lord make straight paths for him many of us are not quite sure of what repentance is however believing that it mainly consists of being sorry not quite repentance involves remorse and contrition contrition of one's sins against god and a strong desire not only to change our lives but to change our minds and heart as well without this desire to change the sorrow is meaningless without the desire to change prayer is petty meaningless because we will never be able to restore our relationship that god wants with us it is absolutely important to pray for repentance being extremely contrite for all the things we have done to hurt god and truly resolve never to do anything to hurt him again let us examine our conscience we should invite the holy spirit to reveal to us the things that we might have done to hurt god and the things we that we might have done that are so offensive to him let us pray heavenly father we humbly come before you truly repentant for all the sins we have committed against you we are trying very hard to please you lord but we fail repeatedly we have no one to blame but ourselves we are truly sorry father and ask you to forgive us for all the things that we have done to cause you pain we promise you that we will try not to repeat our sins again we thank you for your mercy your compassion please do not put us to the test father but if you do please grant each one of us your grace as as we have repented let us surrender ourselves to the lord let us able to surrender ourselves fully we need to truly believe in our hearts that god is the master of our destiny the person in control of our lives because surrendering involves letting go of all things that we cling to we cannot do this if we don't have complete faith in god like everything else on our christian journey this comes with time in his presence god however has no such limitations and when we surrender ourselves to him we open ourselves to his power and to his grace not only does this result in the healing of our minds body and souls it enables tremendous empowerment helping us to bear fruit in accordance with god's will lord we have reconciled ourselves with you and now we stand before you without shame we give ourselves to you completely and accept you as the lord of our life our master and our savior and we surrender ourselves into your loving hands we surrender everything lord our weaknesses and our feelings we surrender our sickness our ailments our pains our sufferings we ask you lord heal us lord if it be your will we surrender our minds and our thoughts the ideas and plans the fantasies the lord that run wild in our lives purify us lord that our thoughts are pleasing to you and also reveal your will to us so that we may follow it lord we give our hearts with all its longings its passions its dreams its desires and lord whatever is not of thy kingdom root it out make our hearts full of love yes lord your love we surrender our life along with everything in it we surrender our family we surrender our finances our homes our occupations our skills our talents we surrender everything we have and everything we will have we surrender what we are and what we will be our everything is yours lord we place everything at your feet let your will be done in us and in our lives for lord you are mighty to save us let us sing this hymn mighty to save us
As we call upon the Holy Spirit, shortly before Jesus died, he said to the apostles, the counselor, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. And just before he ascended to heaven, he promised his apostles, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. And you will be my witnesses to the very ends of the earth. Jesus' promise was fulfilled on the day of Pentecost. And the Holy Spirit came in great power upon the apostles as they were praying in the upper room. The promises Jesus made were not for the apostles alone though. For the people of his time. But for each one of us. And the Holy Spirit has been given to each one of us too. Unfortunately, many of us have not experienced the Holy Spirit in our lives, often because of our disobedience. But now that we have made ourselves right in God through repentance, forgiveness, and have opened ourselves to experience His grace and His everlasting love by surrendering our lives to Him, let us ask for an outpouring of His Holy Spirit upon each one of us, let us ask for the gifts that the Holy Spirit brings with him. Gifts that help us to grow as Christians and gifts that help us in our, to witness to others. Let us call upon the Holy Spirit to come and let his living water flow. Come Holy Spirit and fill us. As we come into worship, through our worship, we give honor and praise to God. We read in the Bible, Psalm 16, 8, I have kept the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I will never be shaken. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. Dear Jesus, dear sisters and brothers, 
Let us believe whatever the struggles in our life. We will never be shaken. Let us worship him. All we, know, all we need to do is love and adore him, both for his role as the creator of heaven and earth and everything else in it, and his role as a father who loves us beyond comprehension. Let us truly tell our God that we love him with all our hearts, with all our minds, with all our souls, with all our might. Let us spend a few moments worshipping him in silence of our hearts. And let us hear him speak to us. Let us be quiet for a few minutes and listen. Remember, God speaks to us in our silence, even if we do not hear anything audible. Let us remain just for a minute in silence. Isaiah 59.1 reminds us God's hands are not too short to save. His ears not too dull to hear us. This is a great promise from God and he is listening to us now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. Father, you are the creator of heaven and earth. You author of everything seen and unseen. Yet, and we, yet we, have, we know we have a special place in your heart for each one of us. It is almost as though you have only one concern on this earth, and that concern is each one of us. Father, we love you very much, and we ask that every, every day that passes, you increase this love, so that one day all of our hearts is occupied only by you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we praise you, Lord. Isaiah 66, 1. I will comfort you as a mother comforts her child. Revelation tells us, 21, 4. He will wipe off all the tears from your eyes. Let us offer ourselves to the hands of the Lord. Let us worship him and ask him to take charge and control of our lives. Lord, we ask that you draw us closer to you in the days to come and help us not only love you more, but love the world, as you said, that if we loved our brothers, if we loved our sisters in the manner which you loved us, we would be your brother, we would be your sister. Jesus, we want to be your brother, we want to be your sister. Our only hope is within you, Lord. And we look at you as the anchor for our souls. We choose you to find rest. We choose faith over fear. We thank you for being our refuge and strength, a very present help in this time of uncertainty and trouble. You are a God who watches over us so that nothing may harm us. May your holy presence flood every corner of our emotions. May the blood of Jesus remove every negative thought. May the blood of Jesus remove every spirit that is not from God. You are a good shepherd, the one who brings down strongholds. The deliverer, Jesus, what a wonder you are. Let us sing this beautiful hymn, Jesus, what a wonder you are.
Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise you, Lord, praise you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, we thank you, Father, we thank you, Son, we thank you, Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Amen. 